Hi everybody, welcome to the Vita Vita art class. I'm your instructor, Cami Casey, and today we are gonna be working on two projects. The first project is called Cotton Candy Sky, and the end result is gonna look something like this. And the next project is called Cotton Candy Moon, and the end result is gonna look something like this. So we're just gonna be working on the backgrounds today because it is with watercolor and it'll need to dry. So the supplies that you'll need are two pieces of white paper, your watercolors, a paintbrush, a cup of water, and then also you're gonna need a little piece of cardboard that's cut in the shape of a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect, just do your best. You could use a cracker box, a cereal box. I just had some cardstock paper. It's super flexible, it's just for us to outline basically, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we want our paper to be hamburger style. Remember, hot dog style is up and down, hamburger is sideways. And I'm gonna show you, so the, we're gonna be doing the watercolor background. Now it looks, when you look at this, like there's all the colors in the rainbow. We have red, we have some orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Now the trick to making this sky is we're actually only gonna use three colors. So what I want you to do is dunk your paintbrush into the water and put some water into your red watercolor. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of my red watercolor on my paintbrush, and I'm gonna do a little splotch of red. Now I'm gonna dunk my brush again, and I'm gonna get the blue, okay? And I'm going to do another splotch of blue right next to the red. Now I'm going to dunk my brush again, get some water on it, some clean water, and put it in the yellow container. And now I'm going to do a thing of yellow right next to it. I'm gonna actually use the yellow again. And underneath this red splotch, I'm gonna put yellow. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to the, uh, the, blue, the red. Yeah, I'll go back to the red. And I'm gonna add a splotch of red. Remember if you need to put more water in your um, in your little container of where the color is, that's fine. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the blue. Just And I just, you don't need a ton of water, you just want there to be a little bit of water in your little container. Um, and again, watercolor takes time to understand kind of how to work with it. It can get, it's a little bit confusing sometimes. Okay, now over here, I'm going to start with the blue. I'm going to do a splotch of blue. Oops. Wanna add, you want to make them kind of thick, and they're not touching either. You see, none of mine are really touching. Now I'm going to get the yellow. And what we're using right now, you guys, these are all called primary colors. The primary colors, they're the first colors that then start to create all the other colors. So some of you guys might be familiar with this. If we combine red with yellow, we get orange. If we combine blue with yellow, what do we get? You got it green. Okay, I'm going to go back to the red here. See, it does not have to be perfect, but you do want it to be kind of thick. Let's do blue again. We're basically doing this pattern that we just did on the top. Okay. And we will do yellow then. 
Your yellow might start to get a little bit green from the blue. That's okay, not a problem. We're flexible. I'm actually gonna grab my other yellow a little bit more, my other yellow. Because remember, I got the big palette. Okay, so we have this. Now what you're gonna do just with the water, just with the water, we're gonna kinda combine these two in this white area. So I have water on my paintbrush. I'm gonna bring the blue out. I'm gonna bring the red out. See how you start to get kind of purpley right there? Okay, now I'm gonna combine any part where I see red and blue, I'm gonna do that first. So see right here, oops, whoa, that was too much water, that's okay. Any part that I see red and blue, I wanna kind of combine it so I can cover up all this area. So here's some more red and blue right here. I don't, cause my table's at a slant, the water really runs kind of fast. So I have to be extra careful, but that's okay. See, I'm just kind of like pulling the color out. And again, so the whole cotton candy, is cotton candy like exactly when you mix all the colors together? It's all over the place. Okay, so here's some more red and blue right here. Remember, we're just doing the red and blue. I'm, gonna, I'm not getting any more color from my paint palette. I'm just doing water. And I'm kind of doing a circular motion. See, I'm just like moving my brush like this. Maybe I'm gonna grab some of this red and bring some of the red up. Bring some of the red out to the side. Okay, and then we have some more red and blue right here. Remember, we're just combining the reds and the blues. Try not to get into the yellow area. So we're just doing the red and blue. Here's some more right here. Now I actually think I might wanna add some more red. So I'm gonna dunk my brush now into the red. I have red on my paintbrush. I'm just gonna bring a little bit more right here. I want a little bit more red right there. All right, perfect. So now we combine all of our red and blues. Now let's try to do the red and the yellow. So clean your brush off. You might wanna, um, you might wanna get new water if you think that you need it. I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, so I'm actually gonna grab the yellow, bring it up, see, and when we combine the yellow with the orange, or the yellow with the red, we get our orange. So just try to combine those ones. This might get a little messy right here because of the, let me grab some more yellow, this splotch right here, but that's okay, see? That's okay. It's not supposed, art is, it's not fun if it's perfect. Okay. Let's see, here's some more red and yellow. See how I'm combining the two colors and then it's giving me that new color. So see, as we go from here, we have the blue, the purple, the red, the orange, and now the yellow. Oh, I love it. it looks great. Just getting more water and mixing it in. Okay, so let's see, I think I combined, except for me right there. Okay, all of the red, there's a little spot right there. Okay, now we're gonna combine the yellow with the blue, and like you guys said earlier, that turns into green. So see, as we mix it, oh, I love this color. As we mix it in, look at that beautiful green right there. Who knew watercolors could be so beautiful? And again, just, I'm not adding any color to my brush. I'm just adding water and, pull, and doing that circle motion and it's gonna give us our beautiful cotton candy sky. And if it starts to drip, that's fine. I think a cotton candy sky should drip a little bit. Okay, so we don't want white on our paper. That's the goal. If, if it's light like this, that's fine. Just keep adding water. And then remember, we're doing it in the circular thing. And there you go. That's our cotton candy sky, the beginning of it. Next week, we're gonna add the trees, but for right now, that's our sky and I love it. It looks gorgeous. So what you wanna do is put this to the side, let it dry, and let's get our next piece of paper ready and started for the next part of our project, okay? Okay, so now we have our clean sheet of paper. We finished our cotton candy sky and now we're gonna be doing our cotton candy moon. 
So for this one, we're not going to be using all the colors in the rainbow. We're just going to be doing um, like a light blue and a purple. That's going to combine to give us this fun cotton candy looking sky. Now for this circle right here, you're going to get your um, cardboard circle cut out and you can place it anywhere on here, preferably up high, but it doesn't have to be on the right or the side. It could be in the center. I'm going to put mine right here. Oops, I have a little piece of hair right there. All right, I'm going to put mine right here. And this is so that way we don't color on this part. That's the only reason we have that there. Okay, so I'm going to start with some blue and I'm just going to put a little bit of water into my blue container. And I'm just going to draw a very simple circle around our moon. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to go back, add a little bit more water into our blue and I'm going to do that again. It look it doesn't it's not supposed to be perfect. We don't want it perfect cuz that's not the point of this. So then we're just going to keep going out. See how my circle would really go off of the paper? Just keep building that circle out and out. And now I'm going to go in with my purple. Get a little bit of water and I'm going to do another circle out here. Well, this one's more like a half circle and I'm gonna keep going back. I want more of the purple out here. We don't wanna get the purple inside. We want it more on the outside, okay? More of the purple out here. Okay, now I'm gonna go back for my blue. The blue we wanna take out all the way out here. So I'm gonna add some blue out here. See how it combined with the purple and it gives us that darker blue color? Love that. Gonna get more of the blue, go over the purple. You're so you want to overlap. I really have my paintbrush just filled to the brim. All right, I'm gonna get my purple now. I'm just going back and forth and just layering. And see how it's like thick like that? Just let it run. Just let it sit there and be thick. It'll really um, add some color to the paper. Okay, now with my water, I'm going to go back. So I just have water on my brush right now, and I'm going to go back, and I'm just going to go all over, all the way up to about the half point, because I just want the purple to go up to that point. Oops, we forgot down here. You don't want to forget underneath the moon. Okay, now rinse your brush off. Just get the blue, and let's go over what we had again. Okay, and now rinse your brush off and we're just gonna put on water, okay? Because we wanna try to make this light around here. I just have water, there's, oops, there, yeah, there we go. I just want water. See how it's barely any color right there? That's good. That's what we want. I'm just dunking my brush in water. I'm kind of like jamming it down to the bottom and then I, do you hear that? It's the little, I'm rinsing it off and then I'm just moving the color that I already have on my page. Okay, now, whoa, this really ran. Now, let's see, let's kind of take a step back. I think I want to bring the purple in a little bit more. I actually have a light blue and a dark blue. I'm going to use a little bit of my dark blue and and do a couple dark blue streaks in here and then like maybe one dark blue right there. And now with my water, I'm gonna go back and blend everything together. So you don't really see those streaks. We're blending. If you decide that you want maybe some green in your sky, add some green be creative you guys are so amazing and it's like i want you to make this project your own i want you when i look at it i'm like okay that is awesome you guys are all just so creative and have so much to offer for the world that i want to see it and i want to see your guys's creativity okay so it's almost done i think i'm going to go back with the blue because there is a few spots that are not really filled okay so I any part where there's white I think I'm just gonna go over a little 
here we go. And the watermarks are great. Okay, and look at, so that is the background of our cotton candy sky. So you're gonna wanna set this down, make sure that it dries. You're welcome to take this off if you want. I think I will take mine off. Look at, I'm gonna take, I had just taped it on there. Let's see if I can, perfect. Oh man, I got a little bit in there. That's okay, small problem. I could go over it with some white out. All right, well, put those aside. We're going to work on them again next week, and I hope you guys had fun today. So, see ya!